Captain John Smith was the first explorer to come to Harrisburg in 1608. He came up the Susquehanna River from the Chesapeake River or Chesapeake Bay and explored this area and met the uh, the Indians that were here. I believe they were called the Susquehannocks or Susquehannocks. I've heard it spoken a couple different ways. But they established a trading sp uh, post right here where I'm sitting because they could cross the river here, so it became a natural trading spot for. Uh, for the settlers uh, back in 1600. John Harris Sr. came here in the early 1700s and established Harrisburg here. And so uh, today we're gonna be uh, looking at these bridges that crossed uh, the Susquehanna here. Uh, there's seven bridges in the Harrisburg area. One railroad bridge and five uh, automobile bridges, one train bridge uh, used to be the uh, Pennsylvania Railroad, I believe it's uh, Norfolk Southern now. Uh, and the Walnut Street Bridge, which is out of commission. So today we're gonna photograph bridges, so let's get to it. When photographing bridges, lighting is everything. So you gotta come back, come back, come back. If you want good shots of bridges, you just gotta, you, you never know how, what the sky is gonna do, what the clouds are gonna do, the quality of light, but uh, generally late afternoon, later afternoon is a better time to come. Uh, unless you want morning light. Like, I've been out here in the mornings and uh, I got some spectacular stuff with these bridges. So. Uh, this is the study of bridges is a study of light, the way it hits these columns. The bridge by itself is nice, but uh, wait for that extra little element in it. Somebody come by on a riding on a bicycle or running or walking a dog, just add a little bit more story value to it. Much of photography is just a waiting game, waiting for the light to come on or the sun to go down or the colors to come into the sky. So it's just waiting for this light, this bridge to light up and uh, uh, see what we get here. I get asked a lot, what would be the one thing I would tell a new photographer that's just starting out in photography? And uh, I think what it would be would be to fill the frame. Whatever you're shooting, you're the photographer, you're the artist. Make sure whatever you're shooting, you fill the frame. If you're shooting people, you don't want to put them in the bullseye. You want to put them uh, the rule of thirds, typically. You're in charge. It's your art. You're responsible for what's in the picture or what's out of the picture. What's the, what adds to the story you're telling, what takes away. Uh, so just make it what you want it. Okay, well, it's two nights later. I waited out here uh, Wednesday night until over an hour, waiting for these lights to come on this bridge. It never did come on. And I went home and brought it up on the computer, and sure enough, the city quit lighting these or turning the switch on on these lights. They got too expensive to operate and replace all the bulbs, so they just shut it off. So, no more lights.